I think I am? Chloe Tang? Hey Cheap Bitches, I'm Rob and this is On The Cheap Tip and in today's video we are going to do a 10 minute booty workout that's going to wake up your glutes, shape, and round your booty. Now this routine is going to be part of a two week challenge that I'm going to be doing in an upcoming video. But I also want to challenge you to do it with me with a chance to be featured in that video. All you have to do is upload short clips of your experience doing the challenge on Instagram, follow On The Cheap Tip, tag me, and use the hashtag Cheap Tip Challenge. Now if you want to be featured you only have until I upload that video so no day like today to get started and hopefully this motivates you to start right now so let's go get ready the first exercise is glute abduction lie on your side with bent knees placing your hand on the outer thigh for added resistance glute abduction as you open up the legs make sure you are squeezing to feel those glutes you can also use resistance bands to add resistance by placing bands slightly above your knees. Rest. Now it's time to flip over and do the other side. Let's go. Blues abduction. The next exercise is single leg bridge. Lie on your back with one foot flat on the floor, raising your opposite leg. Single leg bridge. Now when raising your leg, make sure you are not putting any pressure on your lower back. This can be really easy to do. Make sure that you are only squeezing your butt muscles to do the work. Rest. Now we're going to do the same to the other side. Single leg bridge. Next we have incline bridge. You're going to need a couch or a sturdy bench for this one, placing your upper body on the bench and feet flat on the floor. Incline bridge. Raise your pelvis upwards, squeezing your buttocks, making sure you're not putting any tension into your lower back. You can also use a resistance band or a light dumbbell placed on your thighs for added resistance. Next, we're going to try to get up as gracefully as possible. <laughs> that didn't happen for me. Place one foot on a sturdy platform and one foot on the ground into a deep squat. Deep squat and kick. So basically, we're going to do just what the man said, deep squat and kick. Of course, if you don't have a raised platform, you can just do these on the floor. Just about 30 more seconds, guys, and we're almost there. You got this. Rest. 
rest. Now that we're done with that side, we're gonna do the other side. We're almost halfway done with the workout and you're doing awesome. Beats wasn't good. Now we're going to go back onto the floor, getting on all fours, making sure that our hands are right underneath our shoulders to get ready for our next exercise. Mule kick with three pulses. Take one leg and swing it up to the ceiling with three pulses pushing from the heel. Sorry guys, no breaks here. We're gonna just continue right on to the other side. Mule kick with three pulses. As we finish up our last reps, we're going to stay on all fours for the next exercise. Rainbow leg raise. Holding one leg straight out, we're going to lift it in a curved shape from side to side, sort of like a rainbow. And of course we need to do the other side. I know this is a little torturous, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Rainbow leg raise. Now we're gonna stay in the same position for hydrant kicks, which is my all-time favorite exercise to give you that nice, round, juicy booty. Hydrant kicks. Start by placing your right knee behind your left and then kick out straight to the other side. Okay, the bad news is that we have to do the other side, but the good news is that after this, we only have one exercise left. So don't give up, we're almost done. Hydrant kicks.
rest. All right, guys, you made it to the last exercise. We're going to lie on our backs and do a traditional bridge with a glute abduction. Glute bridge with abduction. Lifting your pelvis to the ceiling, open and close from your knees while squeezing your glutes. And of course, you can always increase the intensity by adding resistance bands. Workout complete. Congratulations guys, you did it. Give yourself a great big bear hug and make sure that you stretch out those muscles cause you're gonna be sore. Now, as you're doing this challenge, it's very important that you're getting enough protein that is going to help build your muscle. And a great way to do that is with a Built Bar, the sponsor of our video. Built Bar is a protein bar made with 100% chocolate and it's easy to take with you whenever you're on the go. I love having a Built Bar before or after my workout just to make sure that I'm getting the quality protein that my body needs. They come in an array of different delicious flavors like German chocolate cake. They also have nut-free options, they're gluten-free, and are packed with protein. This bar has 17 grams of protein with five grams of sugar and only 180 calories. If you'd like to try Built Bar out for yourself, make sure that you hit their link in my description box along with my discount code to help save you some money because Built Bar is hooking you up. So thanks Built Bar. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, and make sure that you also follow me on Instagram and upload your experiences so I can see how you guys do. The tables are turning here. Summer's coming and hopefully this motivates you to make you feel like your best self. So upload those videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.